I just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to order prints. It's certainly not difficult, but there are a lot of choices, so I just wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough. Uh, before we do that, we are here on the home page of my website, CodyDeLong.com. Uh, there's a slideshow here at the top. Uh, then there's actually a little video here about my Jerome Studio and a little 3D thing you can scroll around the inside. There's a link right here. If you click on that, it takes you right to my Facebook business page. I hope you will like and follow my Facebook page. That helps me a lot. And uh, if you're not part of my email list, you'd like to receive my monthly newsletters, you can sign up right here. Okay, on to the prints page. We go over here and we click Shop Prints. That brings up <clears throat> a page within a page. And uh, we'll center that so we can see it. And as you can see, you know, you scroll up and down, you've got lots of images. Uh, there are about five or six pages of images here for you to choose from. Uh, and uh, let's just click on this one here and there are many different things you can order on this site. This is a print-on-demand site that's embedded in my website. But we're going to focus on wall art today and you have quite a few choices here. Uh, let's begin with canvas prints. So you click on canvas prints and um, it's pretty simple. You're just going to go right across these tabs here to make your choices. Uh, you choose your size first um, one kind of cool feature here is, uh, you know, you, you've got this room view. Uh, you click on that and it shows you the size you've chosen. And uh, if you choose a different size uh, and you click again, it shows you the change. So that can kind of help you decide uh, what size. And um, the next thing you're going to do is choose whether or not you want a frame. Uh, a lot of people like these just as a wraparound canvas. But if you did want a floater frame, they offer several options here. And um, down here in the left corner, whichever one you click on, uh, if you click on that left corner, it, it shows you a close-up view. And it shows you, you know, this is a metal extrusion shows you how the canvas is screwed into the frame and there's the little gap that makes it look like it's floating. So you have that option to frame these if you like or you can just go with the wraparound canvas. Uh, I prefer the glossy finish here. I think it's a, just the colors are a little more vibrant but of course that's up to you. And the wrap. Uh, again, my preference is the inch and a half with mirrored sides. And uh, if you click on this 3D image here, uh, you can move this around and see you know, what that's going to look like. Uh, but you don't have to do mirrored. You can do black. You can order these with the black sides or even white. Uh, totally up to you. So as you change uh, Basically, as you change the size, the price will change accordingly. And, and once you've made all your choices, you hit Add to Cart, you're good to go. Uh, framed prints, these probably give you the most options. Uh, these will be printed on paper. You can get them just paper or framed or matted and framed. So same kind of deal, you know, you, you pick your size. Uh, you can, you can again, you can look at room view and see what that might look like. Uh, then you go across to your frame. If you choose no frame, you're just going to get the paper print, no frame or mat. But if you do want to frame it, there are several options here. Scroll down and look at those. Choose whatever works in your home. I'm going to look at this one here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of nice. And then we go on to matte. Now, uh, you can do matte or not. If you just want it in the frame, it'll look like this, right? 
if you uh, but if you do want to mat it then you've got all kinds of color choices here I'm gonna take a look at this one I don't know maybe maybe something even warmer yeah, or yeah maybe that anyway you choose your matte color and then on to paper I would stick with the archival matte for this type of print uh, but you have a lot of other choices here totally up to you and then finish it defaults to this uh, acrylic you, you do want that I, I, that's in that's in lieu of a piece of glass it's better for shipping you won't get a cracked piece of glass in the mail um, but it's going to protect your paper print so you definitely want that so you've chosen your size, your frame, your mat, your paper, and your finish. They're going to give you a price. And they're going to put this together just like you've selected and ship it to you. It's going to look exactly like this. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Uh, let's look at a couple other things. We've, you've also got art prints, posters, metal prints. These are just like the metal prints that I carry in my studio in Jerome. And uh, if you click on the 3D view here, uh, again, you can see these come with what's called a float mount. Now, sometimes they're wood, sometimes they're metal. Uh, either one is fine. And it holds the print out about a half inch off the wall so that when you hang it on the wall, it kind of looks like it's floating. This gives it a little more contemporary look. And, uh, you know, these, these metal prints, the color on these is just fantastic. I think they're, in terms of vibrancy, uh, they may be the best kind of print, just for pure color. Uh, but that doesn't fit in everyone's home. Sometimes you want a traditional framed print or canvas print, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, there are also wood prints, uh, and it is just as it sounds. It's printed on wood, and you can see here kind of what that looks like. You're going to see that natural wood on the edges and there'll be a couple D-rings on the back that you hang it with. Um, no, no accessories with this one, it's very straightforward. Uh, there's also these acrylic prints. It's like pr printed on a piece of plexiglass, uh, and you have two mounting options here, and uh, you can go ahead and read those if you like. Uh, one is a traditional wire, and the other is these, these uh, mounting posts there's one in each of the four corners uh, it's a little more contemporary look it's also nice because it, it, it you know the print will never move it's not going to shift if you slam the door uh, one day or something um, it does require just a little bit more care initially when you're mounting it that you want to make sure you get it nice and level but um, <clears throat> but once you have it mounted it's they're, they're very nice um, so that's another option so as you can see, uh, a lot of choices, canvas, paper, different kinds of paper, metal, wood, uh, you know, cho choose your accessories. And uh, I hope you have a great experience. If you have any problems or issues or just questions, feel free to contact me at Cody at CodyDeLong.com. And uh, I'll get back to you and we'll get you set up with whatever kind of print you, you like. So uh, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in Jerome someday. Bye-bye.